Hi guys and um, welcome along to video two. Thank you if you watched our first one. Um, it was about us getting from Worcester over to the Champagne region. In this video we're going to look at the first few days of our trip up until about the Wednesday when the lads we were with headed off to Paris and it just left myself, my other half and the dog to enjoy our touring. So stick with us and let's see how we got on. Day two of the trip, we're now in Neuf Chateau and I am charging at a Hyundai dealership. I was using the Charge Map app, but it ignored the card and I went for that QR code just over my shoulder. Logged on, went straight on the website, easy as pie, entered my credit card details charge started so it's currently charging at about 44 kilowatts um, yesterday was a good day we had a couple of problems nearly ran out um, as we were coming along the auto routes because my timings and schedules had been mucked up a bit i didn't get to charge at euro tunnel to as high as i wanted and i had a couple of problems but still made it to the champagne region last night we did two Ionity charges yesterday, then got a free little charge, a little tip for anybody coming to the Champagne region, a um, town called Chalon en Champagne. Um, if you go to Little there, the fast rapid charger, 50 kilowatt, actually it's 120 kilowatt, but I think it was only delivering about 50. Um, it was free vent. So we got a free charge after paying quite extortionate amounts of money through charge map for Ionity at both of the services. But today we popped up to Nancy, parked in a car park there, um, put me cable in. We probably got about 50 kilometers worth of charge for a couple of hours while we were parked up. And then that was enough to bring us down here. So again, fill up here this evening and that will be us done probably for tomorrow because it's sunday we're not going to do much and then monday we're off down to troy t-r-o-y-e-s i think it's pronounced troy and we'll probably get another rapid charger down there to bring us back again um how are we getting on with this one well let's have a little look um it's quite a nice hyundai machine let's actually just touch on the flag then touch on the uk one touch on CCS and we're here 18 minutes we got 13.914 and I'm back up to 38% Not okay so I've had a message from the gang they're down at the restaurant my steak and frites have arrived I'm gonna pull away from this charger now I'm back up to 78% as you can see it's giving me 39 kilowatts in 50 odd minutes when I last looked on the little Hyundai app, that was coming in at 15 euros. So then we headed into Sunday. We really just stayed around, went out for a little drive, didn't really do much. This is us leaving the site. Um, as we get up to the top here, yeah, look, we even stopped to empty the bins. So Monday morning we so headed off, we went to a designer outlet centre in Troyes. T R O Y E S, not Troy, as I had said earlier. It is Troyes. So we got 150 kilowatt chargers there. We got some 22s there. We've got over the other side there. See, so we've got some moped chargers. So all in all, all in all, that very straightforward. And then um, currently charging uh, just over 50, I think quick look yeah 51 50 and um, up to 75 percent cheers catch you later um just a couple of stats i suppose just to uh, help work out where we are in terms of um miles per kilowatt hour etc with the roof box um myself and helen and the three lads in the back since we've left the UK, 807 miles or so, and we're averaging 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour. So it has been a mixture of motorway, A roads, etc. But uh, yeah, could have been worse. Um, we're here at Lafourche's and Marie, 
and I'll take you for a little wander around. Yes, granted, it is a long drive from the UK, but once you get here, the seclusion, the surroundings, the forests nearby, it, it makes for a wonderful, wonderful, peaceful time. Wonderful if you're bringing a dog, you can also bring your caravan here. We've been here in both a caravan and a tent. Um, we've stayed in a sheet before. The fact it's got an indoor swimming pool is amazing as well. It's just great for all the family. Swimming pool area up ahead there. And um, above it is a function room type of thing. And then that's looking back down where the sheets are, where we were staying. Looking across here, over to the barn restaurant area. Then on up the hill there to the caravan and camping pitches. The building over there to the right is the swimming pool. And over here on the left we've got more of the sheets. It's a lovely sight this actually. It's got over over a hundred caravan pitches and tent pitches, etc. And then looking over there into the distance is the bar area and reception. As, as we come along here, let's see where you come in off the road. And you've got some more sheets along the front here. Over here, children's play area. It's all very, very nice. And I've managed to lose my dog. Oreo. Nope, there he is. Oreo. Come on. Come on. That's it. Oh, wait. Let's go, this way, come on. This bit here was the old pizzeria. We used to be able to get lovely pizza takeaways from there. And then some more sheets down there. We got the river that runs through, just over here. And I'll take you up in a little bit and show you the hit by the a little pond, lake, whatever, but uh, yeah, looking a bit murky at the moment, but I'm sure it'll tidy itself up with the new owners. Okay, and what's your thoughts on EVs are? <laughs> He's like, I'd rather not. You'd rather not. What, what are your thoughts on him? I'm videoing you, remember. Um, it makes things all a little bit more hard work. I love a good EV. You love a good yeah, EV? I, I love a bit of, change my I love a bit of helping the environment. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah, so that's got to be, that probably, you know, for me, potentially might outweigh most of the issues. Aaron, have you went to say it? Yeah, not really. Not really. <laughs> so the next morning we headed off to All drop off the boys to their train thing. and popped into a supermarket and we saw this for the massive would have made my sun day. canopy would have been on and unfortunately Cheers. there weren't any EV chargers attached. And then it came time for the boys to head off to Paris and that's the end of part two. Thank you very much for your time. Hope you enjoyed it. Usual thing, apparently you're supposed to like, subscribe, comment, all those sorts of things. Bye lads, see you in Paris.